old people suck, huh? <laughs>Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct of Corbin. I was old once. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 Juicy oh, Content. Oh, 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 Take us on oh, Patreon, follow us on Twitter account, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. Do it. Helps us out a ton. Thank you so much. Stay on target. <gasps> Today we're doing a movie Stay review. on target. And it is of the... Um, hold on. I will get <gasps> the information here. The 2012 <sighs> Bengalo film... Uh, sorry, Bengali. Uh, Shabdo. Yep. How would it be Bengali pronounced it? Shabdo. 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 The A would have more of an O kind of a sound. Shabdo. I believe it was translated when to... When my wife walks in the room, she will sound confirm that. Or something like Shabdo. that. Shabdo. Yeah, it means sound. Uh, directed by, uh, and written. By Koshik uh, Ganguly. And then starring Ritwik Chakraborty. Right. Uh, we, we saw the trailer. Hey, said. We saw this uh, trailer a long, long time ago. Um, and we were very excited about the, the concept of yes, the film. And yes. Ritwick, we wanted to see more of him uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it came out in 2012. It'll be a 100% spoiler review. Uh, we got it sent. I'm assured you can get it somewhere else. We got it sent in a Google file because that's the only place we could get it with subs. Um, I tried watching it in a nail file. It was very frustrating. That's, I bet that can be frustrating. It can be very hard. Anyways, but if you haven't uh, watched it and you don't want to be spoiled, please go away because it's going to be a 100 spoiler review. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. This is our 16th of the year, our 11th Bengali film, and our 223rd of all time. 11th? I thought it was 12th. Nope. Really? Yeah. Okay. At least to my list. Go on. Yeah. So here's my paragraph. Watch Sound of Metal instead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a great paragraph. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. How, am I in or is it not my company? Yeah, That's yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. I, yeah. did not, I did not enjoy uh, this film um, outside of uh, the moments when the director allowed Ritwick to do what he wanted to do. Um, but that's, that's, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can tell. But I, we, I mean, we don't know how long these reviews are going to be. No, we just. But talk. typically, when if you see, you know, 25 minutes or longer, it's because we had to keep it. We could have talked for two hours. The ones that are under the 25 minute mark, there's typically not a lot to say because we don't want to spend always, our time but, yeah. harping on things that yeah. we don't like about the film. And, but we will talk about some of them yes. because it, you know. Um, and I know a lot of people love this. So like, I, if you go back to our trailer reaction, you look under it, people say this film's a masterpiece, the best thing they've ever... So if that's what you think, then you, you go on thinking that. Um, but that is not our opinion of this film. No. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I said this in our last in the last review about opinions, right? Mm. And I had stated in that paragraph that I do try to base my opinions as much as possible on objective reality rather than subjective things. And part of that objective reality are the things that we know are what are required to make something quality cinematic experience. That, and that's the primary reason. This, this is a very different thing in terms of where the last movie, uh, the... Uh, um, Padmam. Pa pa yeah, Padmam. Pa Prim Primam. 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 Sorry. Where Primam, <clears throat> I understood the cultural differentiations and said it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. You probably would like that. This one for me is not just because it's my, yeah. not my cup of tea. I just cinematically find yeah. very... There's just and not I'll, much for me. I'll talk I, I'll talk about the two things that I that like and you could tell me if you agree. You should be able, if you're in a film, for example, if you're an actor in a film or mm -hmm. you're a producer or a director, you should be able to recognize whether your film was good or not. Like... Go watch Shattered if your kid's on drugs if you want to be ab abused and waste your time. I star in that thing. It's terrible. I have one good moment. The rest of it's really, really bad. I have the opposite. Jurassic World's fantastic. So <laughs> you should be able to look at stuff and be able to recognize whether it's good or not. And, and yeah, this was... But good. anyways, uh, the two things that I thought were the most not notable, right, um, was Ritwick was the number one. And um, I, I wish she had a different script, a different director, a different film. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sincerely, a different story. He was by far, no one was on whatever level he was at. No. And I don't know if you, if you agree with that. I agree. And not that a, I think he was as good as he was in his other stuff. Not even close. Um, no. But I think he was definitely the overwhelmingly far superior to everybody else that was at uh, the uh, Agreed, agreed. There, yeah. There's... 
he's a good enough actor that even with something that doesn't work, you can tell, like yeah. you can with any good actor, that they're they're probably going to be okay. That first Kamal Hassan film we saw. Yeah. That we could see, oh, and I think this is a much better performance than Kamal gave in that film, and I'm not trying to bother because I know you guys hate us for not liking that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think this performance was much better than that one, but he had very little in terms of script to work with. He, <laughs> the other actors gave him zero, uh, outside of maybe his the producing partner was, I guess, the second best person there. Yeah. Um, but this, uh, yeah, he was definitely the best part, and I'll get into all the other stuff after this, but I'm trying to get to the good the Wait. stuff that I liked first. You didn't like the white actor? Mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he, and I thought if the director and the writer, I, mean, I guess the same guy, right, uh -huh. um, gave... Uh, I, I think took it in a different direction. I would have much more preferred that. Absolutely. Uh, as opposed to the direction they went, and I'll get into that. Yep. Uh, but I like the concept of doing a film about a um, um, Foley artist. Yes. Love that concept. Yes, right? of course. Um, I, I honestly don't feel like that's what they did. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> I would have much preferred it to just be rhythmic, centric, with maybe a couple supporting people. Like, do it, like if it was made now, do it like you said, Sound of Metal was the first thing that comes to mind, right? Something like that. But, like, the, the times that I was engaged was Rithwick doing stuff predominantly by himself. Yeah. That's that's mainly when I would have been, that I, that was intrigued. Yeah. Anytime there was other people, it was it was hard to watch. Yeah, and even, even with him, um, I wasn't able to stay fully engaged because I knew what he was having to work yeah. with just... Yeah strained credulity for me on so mm -hmm. many levels yeah. um, and I there's uh, there's so many different directions I wished it had gone and thought it was going to go based on the trailer yeah because okay so what they did and this is such a frustrating part you thought the Ritwick was going to be the main character and um, kind of his story but it was really like the doctor's story and I was like why why one they harped on like the same thing like eight billion times like What's his problem? Oh, he only likes this. That's a problem. Blah, blah, blah. Let's discuss that 10,000 times. With, a, with an actress, and I'm sorry, you might be a great actress now, but in this, I did not I did not like that actress at all. Uh, and did not like her, the, the writing that she was given, did not like her performance of it, did not like really the whole story of her. Yeah. Uh, you could have maybe, like, Rithwick was doing his thing the entire time, right? And then uh, 45 minutes in, after you've had a Rithwick centric film be like maybe we should see a doctor she could be like a five minute supporting character sure no she i think has more screen time than rithwick which would have made sense if she was diagnosing something completely new or yeah. doing something breakthrough in the world yeah. of medicine but she's not no in fact she says at one point that he's possibly dealing with acoustic neuroma well why would you even consider that a possibility without testing for the tumor that causes it I just it it yeah. really boggled the mind. Her 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 uh, dialogue with her, that guy who thought he was the best ever, yeah, the was, greatest person who did ever. Uh, he's definitely which, not the greatest actor. And ever. in that in the conversation with him as well, she's she's talking about the disease that he's dealing with. Yeah, um, what disease? And then at the the, the end just pissed me off. The fact that they were like he did blah 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 because it was well, a it real made it story. sound like it was a real yeah. story. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Is this a fake story? Agreed. What are you even doing? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and if this is a true story, you can let me know. But I was not under no. the assumption that this was true in the it's slightest. Not, I researched it. There's nothing anywhere that I could find in any way, shape, or form. You don't need to give P.S. Story. notes at the end of a film if it's not a true story. And if it was, then this was a guy with not a hearing problem. This was a guy who had a really odd obsessive compulsive disorder yeah um, i honestly didn't really see the issue none at all i didn't really well, understand their and here's another concern. thing i didn't understand in the writing and everything else how she goes from telling him you're stupid you have a problem that's going to destroy all of your potential relationships because you're not paying attention to conversations you're distracted by ambient sound and then she talks to her mentor the doctor who says he's the greatest of all time and says I was having a conversation with friends and all it was was gossip and politics and maybe he's right. Maybe we shouldn't be listening to conversations and we should be paying attention to ambient noise. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. What? <laughs> I, did, I just didn't get why they went with this direction of the film. I think it could have been a thousand percent more interesting if it was just you following this Foley artist. Yes. And his, his, like, you know, I think he was like, I, I could, if like it was an American film, 
I could have seen like Joaquin Phoenix doing something like this, like, but like, a, like it's him centric. You're kind of alone in his room and his stuff. I think that would have been so much more interesting than yes. this weird doctor angle that they went with. Yeah, and the other, it wasn't interesting to me not at, at all. all. And one of the challenges of the writing is, and this is a big no-no in screenwriting, guys, and no. Oh, yeah. This isn't something that you uh, miss with translation. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about dialogue. I'm talking about the actual storyline. I've talked about this before. Corbin's mm -hmm. talked about this before. Exposition is not supposed to be given in dialogue. It was like all exposition. It was all exposition yeah. in dialogue. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I, I could have picked up the fact that he didn't listen to other people and just he was about like his, his work and the ambient noise without you saying anything to me. Yeah, and even as much as I didn't like that and would have preferred it to have been something simple as like Sound of Metal where he's actually losing his hearing... Let's say they did stick with the obsessive compulsive kind of disorder and you can you could actually give a definitive thing about that and use some really good things to help us bring attention to a malady that others suffer from because as far as I know no one on earth suffers from this malady of yeah. being so obsessively compulsive with ambient noise that you can't listen to conversation. Yeah. Maybe it's true, but there wasn't enough of that to bring attention to me of a problem that should be addressed. And I, by the way, no, there's a point in the beginning of the movie, for those of you who've seen it, where she's trying to explain to her mentor about the sound of birds and Foley work and what's being done. Mm -hmm. And he brings up Hollywood films, and she says that Basic Instinct was all studio sound. That is incorrect. <laughs> it, had, it had Foley work done, as a lot of films do, and the only reason a lot of Foley work is done in films is because they weren't able to capture the sound on set or on location or... It's a sound that doesn't happen in nature, like a lot of science fiction films. So, mm. no, basic, basic instinct was sync sound. We've been doing sync sound since the 1920s. So yeah, um, so yeah. Overall, uh, not not my probably my least favorite Bengali film we've seen. Uh, what did I say earlier today? Hmm. Oh, she's looking on her phone. Yeah. I, I said that say? to Indrani. Yeah. I said oh, she said how was it? Because she was going to watch it with me, and our night changed last night, so I watched it while she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, it's my it's my least favorite Bengali film by far. Which is so strange because I got recommended this all the time. People just praising it, and maybe and you guys can explain to me what won, you liked. It won the there's a Bengali Film Awards, mm. and it won Best Film. I, it, I cannot comprehend. Yeah, you guys can let us know like what you think was so good about it in the comments below. Obviously, this is our opinion. Yeah, what we think of it. I don't think it's a good film. Ritwick was by far the best part of it. I thought, even though I think his other film that we've seen of him is, was a better performance of his, but that could be because of the directing and writing of this film. Yeah. Because uh, I, I think you could give uh, this film with Ritwick, Ritwick to another director and it would be a thousand percent actually watchable uh, film. Yeah, conceptually, <laughs> I mean, did completely you're gonna... just gut it outside of it's a Foley artist. Yeah, I mean, successful. come on, just that's what attracted us to the trailer. When you make movies about making movies, we're in. This man. is barely about that. And this barely even touched on any of that and didn't bring. Uh, it just, and I really meant that. I wasn't being sarcastic or silly with my really short paragraph. If you want to watch a film about an artist whose artistry is impacted by something going on with sound, watch Sound of Metal. Mm. I agree with you. And like I said, I'm sure this is a really short, might even be under 15 minute review. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to just harp on no. everything. We hate doing that. Yeah, we exactly. Hate, like, I, this is not, these are not the kind of, even though I think we both agree that we like doing movie reviews, that's one of our favorite videos to do, but when they're bad and we don't have Off. anything nice to say, it's not a fun time. And we, we regret because I, we know that a bunch of people like these films that we talk about. Uh, and you always take it personally <laughs> when we do no, it. No, no, like, even on my own, like, we would have done if if there was time, there were no people were talking about on 2.0 about the Batman. Yeah. And there's mixed mixed feelings about yeah, the yeah. Batman. Some I people adore it, it, some people don't yeah, like it. it. Yeah. Well, I didn't like it, so I don't want to do a review of it just to talk about what I don't like. I yeah. want to talk about what I do like. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, there was uh, very little. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but please do let us uh, know what should be our next Bengali film, uh, whether it's a more newer one uh, or a old one, Sachajit Rai, other people like that. Of course, I don't think he's had a bad one. Not well, yet. You, you didn't like uh, this one. Um, oh. Yeah, you didn't like yeah. that one. Yeah, but, but uh, I under it was one of those where I can understand why other people would like this, but for me, this is my least favorite of Sachajit Rai's. I wouldn't say that it's a bad motion picture. Mm. I would just say it's, for me... 
of the ones that I think are his best, that's mm. the one that's his yeah, least yeah, best. Yeah. Um, but anyways, let us know what the next Bengali film should be down in the comments below. Don't kick my camera, so bitch. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs>